Hello and welcome back to yet another series of uh, The Hard West. Today we're going to look at the second uh, last scenario, which is the graveyard shift. We're going to accompany Warren's father, who has been stranded in the Wild West with an incredible amount of bad luck. Let's see how he's uh, competing against uh, that bad luck. We're of course playing on the hardest difficulty, Combat Injuries, Iron Man. That's the only way to play this game. Your father brought bad luck wherever he went. He suffered greatly, sacrificing much of himself to save his family. Hoping to leave the curse behind, he strode into the wilderness and traveled far to the south. There, he found a small town and decided to settle down. He told his new neighbors that his name was Benjamin Morin. As death seemed to follow him wherever he went, he decided to take up a new trade Undertaker. As he made his living burying the dead, traveling from That's farm to idea. ranch, he kept searching for a way to lift the curse. One day he returned to town to find it ravaged by something evil. Between the maniacal laughter of the murderers and the screams of their victims, a single survivor hid behind the bars of the jail. A former bounty hunter Harrington. What a coincidence. He was a bounty hunter and he's putting himself into uh, behind bars. Your father kept to the shadows. Free Oswald Harrington. As one of the evil doers, he edged closer to the jail where Harrington was held. A shootout could get Harrington killed, so your father weighed his options. Oh, look at that. We can drain the luck of everyone. That's so fitting as a storytelling element. Look at that. All right, he completely drained their luck. Let's see if we can find some more. So he's jinxed as well. There's one guy here, but we can't reach him. Well, I guess that's good enough for now. I suppose we have drained almost all of these guys. Moving in here. Let's see if we are subduing him. The father forced the guard to open Harrington's cell. The old bounty hunter told him that those running roughshod over the town were possessed by something wicked. As the bulk of them were busy chasing down the fleeing townsfolk. Okay, so they are out of luck. Dispatch those which I that think remain. means we can start getting them down. He has no luck. Yep, meaning we can immediately kill him. There we go. Two shots, two down. Problem with it is that they still um, have full cover so let's maybe move out of line of sight and see what what they will do one round two rounds three rounds let's take a short look he's still in cover okay oh no oh no oh no oh no i just moved him oh, oh well that was a huge mistake boy that was stupid I misclicked. 
Yeah, we're going to take a big hit. Yeah, there we go. All right, uh, let's see it from the positive side, I suppose. We got a wound for free. Yeah. We are at 90. Let's maybe see if we can increase our hit points. No, we only have opium. That does not help us with anything. Well, we are down to to 1 HP, so we need to be very careful how to deal with them. Luckily for us, only 3 enemies remain. Slowly but surely wiggling this guy down. really started that scenario in an extremely bad way. I was about to say, uh, nowadays we just got the hang of it, but apparently we did not. Because that was just a very, very stupid mistake. We could try to hit this guy. Alternatively, I think we're going with three shots. There we go. One less cultist. Down to two HP, okay. Well, it's a tough life. Moving on. Hitting this guy, moving into better cover. And killing him. Time for a reload. So a couple of things happened here. I guess the norm, uh, it is normal that you're going to lose some hit points like we did on Oswald here. It's just if you take on a lot of enemies at the same time, they will hit you. But luckily for us, we are in full cover, so that shouldn't matter. The main problem was this one mistake the that we did. that remained in town were dead. Your father and Harrington prepared for the return of their confederates. They hid in the shadows high above. As their enemies returned, they gathered on the main square. Their leader addressed them in some odd, unfamiliar tongue. All right, a lot of enemies. So I noticed that we do have chain kill here. Which I think is a great option. Putting ourselves into a good position here. We could kill like half of them at the same time. But I don't know their luck values. So I guess what I want to find out is... Whether we can just move down here. Since we have this jinxing aura. and kill all of them. First let's get rid of their uh, of their luck and then it should be quite easy. Uh, revitalizing and improves movement. Well we do have one luck uh, boost here.
All right, a couple of them already start feeling the drain. Moving out. Again, more of these gentlemen are getting drained. Beware the undertakers coming. So we could technically probably stand up as close as up to here, right? Wow. That's bold. Drain, drain, drain. Okay, all of them are drained. Good enough. Good enough. So out of interest, I mean, what does a bottle of liquor do? Increases maximum hit points. Yeah, there we go. Got a one hit point. All right, time for some chain killing, I suppose. Let's start. All right, first one down. And Harrington cut down those unsuspecting evildoers. Second one down. We're at full hit points, by the way. Once again. Third one down. God, that's what I call a massacre. Fourth one down. Insufficient action points. Okay, well, that's unfortunate. Three luck, so boy, oh boy. I sincerely hope that that's going to work out, otherwise, we might die. There we go, that's one down. And we know that this guy is out of luck, right? Right. But we also know that we have no weapon that could deal five points of damage. No, even the Western Rifle the, it deals only four points of damage, so that's a bit of a bummer. And we have no more luck left, so the next hit is going to hit us. Which means I'm going out of, uh, out of range. And reload. Gonna do it. We're going to take him from the other side. Nice and easy. Back out of uh, uh, back out of range. Moving into the next full cover. That's okay, we got more than enough hit points on him.
And remember, we also got the nice little five damage gun. Here we go. I should kill him. Wow. Bit of a tougher mission, but I also made an absolutely crucial mistake by taking the six points of damage. It was a misclick, uh, to be fair. But yeah. The city uh, was a cabinet of horrors, the streets stewed with bloody bodies of townsfolk killed by the di diabolic cult. We buried all of the bodies. The Undertaker and Harrington uh, spent an entire day burying the dead, carrying corpses through the blood spirit streets. The Undertaker couldn't uh, shake the notion that all of this was his fault. He told Harrington as much, relaying on the story of his continuous misfortune but omitting the devil's trickery. Harrington was skeptical of the curse, but suggested that visiting, uh, visiting Ampers, the Hermit, might help the Undertaker to find peace. The day consists of four parts, dawn, morning, midday and afternoon. You can only explore one location during each part of the day. Traveling to a new location will change the time of the day. That's interesting. Got the Ten of Spades. Got the location of the Hermit. Uh, let's start our journey here. A thin column, a crit smoke rose from a shabby hut, home of Emptus the Hermit. He found him alone, muttering under the breath uh, to no one. The Undertaker told the story of his curse and how it had plagued him. The Hermit remained silent a long time. After the Undertaker finishes his tale of the woe, finally he spoke. The curse was powerful, he said. Uh, Empus would not be able to lift it alone. He needed to learn more about it. Two days of study should be sufficient. Okay, there's the planetarium, which looks nice, but I would like to get to the fortune uh, trader first, because that's usually where the great uh, weapons are located. Let's take a look where well, we can find it. Well, that's the planetarium. I don't want to go there yet. Uh, but apparently we must go there because the fortune trader is not yet up. Thank you, uh, dear game, for being linear. Planetarium. The tobacco from Brian's coal uh, uh, plantation. Oh, it's not a planetarium, it's a plantation. I'm sorry. The um, tobacco from Brian Cole's plantations was famous for its uh, moldy look and intense aroma. Let's try it a little bit. <coughs> Tobacco increases aim. That's all fine and good. We don't need that. By the way, scoped uh, uh, custom rifle is not too bad. 10 aim is actually quite quite good. But we have nothing else to sell, so it doesn't matter. The mysterious moneylender uh, refused to lend any more. He said the Undertaker had enough to survive. Well, yeah, thank you. But what exactly? Buy at least twelve tobacco bags at the planta uh, and the at the planation. Uh, plantation. Okay. Uh, sell the tobacco in town. Well, let's trade. Oh, got you. Now I do understand. We can make a bit of a uh, a bit of a profit here. Go to the town saloon and hire an a gunman. The local scoundrels, bandits, and lunatics hung out in the saloon. It was the ide ideal place to look for new POS members. Um, we want to take a fast but fragile fighter or a tougher but weaker sh shooting fighter. We're taking Fleischer. Fleischer was a well known bounty, hun bounty hunter with a golden uh, bullet where a tooth once has been. The bullet uh, in his jaw was uh, the only one that ever came close to killing him. Well, let's go to the saloon as well. Oh, we can't take... Oh, we can take another bounty hunter if we actually... 
if we sell enough of the weapons Well, I guess we probably need to uh, need to make a bit more of profit here. Oswald took some uh, some food from his evident house. They were ready to continue their journey. Need to eat every day. A character needs one food portion to remain healthy. Two for, uh, food portions will make him energetic. If the character skips a meal, he will be hungry. Denying him food for a second and following day causes them to become very weak. Staff characters require two food to restore to strength. The Undertaker among the graves of his dead friends and enemies. Uh, and sat among the dead uh, graves of his dead friends and enemies. His prayers was religious, or a gloomy reflection of the past and present actions. We can carve a figure of an eagle, but we need bales of wood for that. The question is where do we get the bales of wood? Um, the Undertaker sat down to a grim prayer determining to communicate with the dead. Uh, it was hard to say whether it was the Undertaker or the spirits that truly desired an offering of five tobacco bags, eight liquor, and three opium pines, uh, pipes. Well, liquor, opium pipes. It's interesting that the dead only want drugs. It's time to distribute your 15 food. Undertaker is hungry. Uh, Undertaker takes another one and feels replenished. Oswald. Actually, everyone gets some food. And let's get some sleep. I see. Let's trade with the planetarium. We're getting some tobacco. I think we also had the liquor. And a couple of doses of opium. Trading for cash. There we go. We are visiting the town again. And we are selling most of the tobacco. I think we needed some tobacco leftovers. Oh, wait a second. There we go. We're buying food. I think we needed some more liquor. And if I'm not. Oh, here are bales of wood. Great. Uh, bales of wood. Great. I think, by the way, we need to pay that with tobacco. And a couple of the other stuff that we're taking. Probably the bales of wood were a bit over ambitious. Great. Deadly, uh, Deadly Daring. Uh, I mean, we need a couple of these things. Unfortunately, currently we can't get it. Opium is also there.
We're down to 50 cash. But we got a lot of other stuff. So that should be fine. Going to the plantation again. Uh, it does not restock, at least not immediately. The gin mill. Harrington saw something glittering by the side. His eyes are setting upon an empty whiskey bottle of a half buried gravel. Investigating turned up the notes inside. Halpin, my dearest companion, uh, companion, this is my last message. I'm leaving this imposious lens of rats, snakes, and coyotes, uh, coyotes to travel to the old world. I won't be another school uh, on a pile. Should you need assistance in your travels, try the post uh, office southwest of Ghost Town. Good luck, amigo. Um, the still produced strong whiskey that tastes like wet dog and burnt like poison. Their motto was. Ma McCarran's whiskey, a real man can take uh, six shots and keep on firing. <laughs> this is so stupid, but it's funny at the same time. Let's get some real whiskey and maybe sell some stuff that we do not need. We can give them gold. But we still need 40 more, which, by the way, is as much as the scope rifle costs, so perfect. There we go. Let's trade. I want to see if the whiskey uh, offers us more. Well, we got a lot of whiskey, but... Well, it's not too bad, I suppose. Got 175, so we're back in business, boys. This is the caravan. Anateka takes some uh, food, Harrington takes some food, and Fleischer takes some food. Get some sleep. Anateka visited the caravan. A loosely knit group of people never stayed in one place for long. This was either because they were always looking for some new source of revenue or because they eventually the locals would be tired of their scams. And so they are into opium, as it seems. And they do have a pretty nice selection of everything. Unfortunately, nothing that's really cheap. All of their stuff is really expensive. So let's look at the plan, uh, planta uh, planation again. Well, we already bought everything. Apparently there is nothing more that we can buy. There's the sawmill. Uh, the Vale of Woods are really cheaper here. So let's adjust to the offer. And we got a lot of wood. Let's visit the Ermit and then go to town and trade. Oh, there's the Fate Trader up there. Great. The Ermit turned his milky eyes towards the Undertaker. He mentioned three individuals that could help. The first was old Semstress Voodoo Priest who lived somewhere in the swamps. Okay. The second was the Red Coyote, an Indian shaman. He was a fretful man, but strong in the traditions of his ancestors. He lived um, at the west of the foot of, uh, foot of the mountains. The last was the re, uh, revert Ashmore, who no one has seen for some time. Emptor said the Undertaker should seek out Jim Tommy, the proprietary in the opium smoking room, for more information. 
And we got the card Jack of Clubs. Let's trade with the Fate Trader real quick. Bale of Woods isn't worth any more than we bought it for. That's a bummer. Because we're out of cash, only 55. That's really not going to cut it. But there are a couple of really, really nice weapons here. So I suppose we're going back to town. I think they should implement a feature that allows you to automatically eat. All right, so yeah, here we go. Uh, the, the wood is definitely better here. Unfortunately, they are running out of cash, which means we're taking useful items. The ocular isn't too bad. Hmm. I think that's pretty much it. Okay, so I guess we can do a couple of things in the ghost town. So five tobacco bags, eight liquor, five opium pipes. Um, Interesting. We can uh, we can make a couple of these figures. I'm not sure how uh, how valuable these uh, figures are. But from what I can see, they might be able, uh, they might uh, give us some money back. Well, does not necessarily mention that. But here we go. Um, let's give the Undertaker, um, because he already has an okay aim, let's give him the extra shoes. We certainly could use the Mandrake Roots. Opium is not good at all. We're taking Vitality Elixirs instead. Um, this guy here, Oswald Harrington, has probably... By the way, we have a Cracked Skull. That's good, because we are soon getting a boon for that. Oswald has a shitty aim, so let's give him the plus aim. And we are also going to give him a Vitality Elixir. Last but not least, Ape Fleischer, who has a really bad weapon, by the way. We're giving him Snuff. I think extra movement wouldn't hurt. But his aim is also atrocious, so let's give him plus 5 aim. It's less bad that way. Yeah. Well, we certainly don't have the best bunch, but what do we expect? I mean, we hired a couple of hired guns and that's pretty much it. Um, I like it. I like the Jinx aura. That worked incredibly well. But since the Undertaker is now our best, 
best shooter, we're going to give him the sniper ability. Um, we do have a club of uh, a pair of jacks here. Defense. And we could give this to him, giving him a plus four movement speed bonus. I like the chain kill plus shriek ability plus another four movement. And here we go, that's the Joker plus five aim plus two movement plus four side. That's right there, 24, mo uh, 25 movement. Oh gosh, he's fast. Might as well consider taking it down here. Oh, never mind, he only has three slots. Yeah, I think that's fine. It's, a, it's okay for the, uh, for the first team. Where did we leave all of our money? I think it was either at the gunsmith or... Did we leave it at the planetarium to buy new uh, new stuff? I think so. I'm just wondering if the planetarium would give us money back. Well, it's worth a shot. Uh, spending some time to trade here. Yeah, 230. That's not bad. Um, we needed five bottles of uh, liquor. Uh, so basically nine bottles of liquor, nine opium, and uh, and nine liquor, opium, what was the third one? Opium, liquor, oh, tobacco, yeah, of course. Damn, we've used all of the tobacco. Well, the opium is fine. I guess we can sell some of the figurines. We don't really need all of them. The opium is okay as well. We might get new opium. Got ourselves another 117. Five bottles of liquor. Yeah, I think we simply have nothing else to sell. That's our issue. Um, so, what were we missing? I think tobacco was the one thing and opium was the other, right? So, bottles of liquor, four more of these. Yeah, we uh, we have nothing. Uh, we have not enough items to pray for the spirits. We might get them later once we have enough. Um, once we have enough money. For now, we're just using what we have. The group is uh, met a wandering salesman who is called the Russian. His words consists of so many oddities and luxuries that made you wonder about the former owners and whether they were still alive. Okay, he certainly has food, that's not bad. But a lot of the stuff that he has is actually quite expensive. So we're not buying anything. Let's continue the storyline. Here's the bridge. I mean, I'm really thinking about whether to visit certain locations because it costs you. We've been at the sawmill. We haven't been at this decaying post so far. Let's take a look. This former federal post office still uh, was receiving messages and documents, but it was now decaying and hang out for crooks and outlaws uh, who traded information about the region. Let's buy the daily stuff. The former federal post office still receives messages. Okay, so the Undertaker reviewed his daily price list. Oh, okay. I get it. Well, that's all good but we we really don't need that at the moment so here's the opium then if we wanted to have more opium that's the place to go 
The Opium Den was a rare business which could increase the profits while dispatching the omnipresent misery of its customers. The room was filled with beggars. Um, let's trade before we ask any questions. Those of opium, super cheap here. Might as well. Trade it. Gosh, cash is really sparse in this scenario. Sometimes we have like three, four thousand uh, gold pieces. And the father seems to always be short on, on cash. Well, he now needs to deal with opium. The Undertaker asked for Jimmy Tommy and about the revert Ashmore. Jimmy Tommy smiled about opening his eyes and spoke uh, in a little near whisper. The reward was supposed to arrive in the railroad station a few, sta few days ago. Jimmy Tommy had found something that occupied him while he was waiting. Um, all right. I'm just looking at the time. I think we're going to call it quits for this session. We're going to rejoin the group the next time in the hard west thanks so much for watching if you enjoyed the content don't forget to leave a like and a comment down below as it signals youtube that you like the comment uh, the content thank you so much see you the next time